space in Kubernetes. So, so what is it exactly? Why we use in uh, Kubernetes? Okay. So namespace is the way to divide a cluster into different virtual environments uh, where it can help and organize and manage the resources in Kubernetes objects that is pods, deployments, services, config max, etc. etc. So for example, when we you have a multiple teams and multiple projects or environments like uh, development testing and production so we can use the same cluster for different teams also we can use and different projects also we can use this is the real scenario and key terms when we say cluster namespace resources and kubectl so cluster it is the kubernetes system in your infrastructure so namespace uh, the, the logical partition inside the cluster that is what we are discussing now and the resources where we can uh, deploy our resources in a Kubernetes uh, resources in the sense Kubernetes objects where you can create pods, deployments, config max, services, secrets, etc. etc. This way you can uh, use it. And then uh, kubectl. This is the command line uh, tool uh, which you can use the, and manage the uh, Kubernetes objects so using the kubectl command. So uh, real use cases when you say development, testing, and production in environments where you can divide the namespaces. And different teams working on the separate projects those and this way also we can use the different namespaces for storing their kubernetes data or uh, their resources under that namespace these are the two real scenarios and how many ways to create the namespace there are three ways to create and one is using the yaml file using the cli kubectl uh, that is command line uh, interface and using the helm helm is advanced one so you don't worry about it now so we'll go with the uh, via kubectl command but before that you can get the default namespace if any availability is there so here we see that the default namespace is there node release public system and monitoring so monitoring which i have created and we can see one more by creating it okay kubectl create ns development so development namespace was created and this is one way and with the help of kubectl a vi sample.yml i can show so here also we can create it with the help of uh, kind is we can say since it is a short span uh, we can say pod okay under metadata we can pass name and here we can pass the namespace you can use test okay uh, the remaining spec containers and all same and uh, this, uh, it is a short span uh, so i am executing this okay likewise you can go through this and i have created a full video for this uh, and you can go through that as well if you have any doubts you can let me know so i can clarify on this that's all for now and a quick session on this thank you